Okay, <clears throat> welcome back guys. Here we are in uh, Building in Blender Part 2. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just keep uh, building a little bit, doing what I was doing. Stepping back a little bit here. Go back to this one, this one is deleted. Just kind of uh, not really worrying about all the details at this point because um, I'd rather just get a rough uh, layout and spacing, and um, then I could worry about uh, realigning stuff and making it more accurate. So. <laughs> This, uh, like this may need to be a little bit bigger, this is a little bit smaller, but this is actually built for uh, 50 foot. Right now it's perfectly, when I add all the discs, you know, it'll be 50 foot, so I don't know if I need to move this in and out a little bit more, or, or you know, whatever it ends up being, but I think for now it's, 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 um, Fine, like I might need to move these in and out a little bit more. I'm not really sure. But I think I did that backwards yesterday. So today, I kind of want to move um, I want to kind of finish up the mountings here and here, these little brackets, and then um, work on. Well, we'll just start there and see how far we can go. So, um, these are outer looking at, looking at this one. It kind of has a So we'll just come over here, work at the same thickness. This one ninety degrees, and we'll just pop this up here. Okay. 
Okay, so now the key is to get it into the proper position, which would be like this. Go back to our image as we'll say it's kind of like that. Then we'll bump this guy up to here. This guy. I imagine this goes into here or something. Doing this, we can probably match up with that, and then we can angle it off. And then these guys, we just don't really care where they go. We'll try to make them a little bit bigger, though. And then we can probably do that with that. Is do our little magical invisibility. <laughs> do a test. We got everything we really wanted. Bottom. That is going to look better. Actually, we can do it like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. We went the wrong way with our little triangle. No problem. We can fix that. Man, it looks like that or something. Doing this. We're not going to do this whole thing in proper like that. So. Over here, we do some kind of big rounded
bracket. This one is actually kind of smaller, so we want to probably shrink that down. Get smaller as it progresses. That will probably scooch that up there. And then we can do a big one first. It's kind of a little bit of that. And we can go ahead and get the rest of these. that So those brackets are done, nice and rigid, and then, let's see here, we have to do the bracing for these, which Anyway, so these are simple. We can just do that. This must have to go on. Like so. There's no way that we can. I'll just pick a nice piece that you know is parallel and stuff. Doesn't really matter where it's coming from. And then I'm going to stretch this one out. And be right about there. We're going to do a nice little loop cut. We are going to grab this face. We're going to extrude it out, then we're going to do this with it, then we're going to do 
that with that. Size it up nice. Okay, so what does it actually look like? Ooh, a little bit too long. So what we can do is we go to our normal, we can push it back a little bit. Just way about there. And then we can probably grab these two, get back to global. Stretch them out just a tad. And at the same time, I kind of want to kind of shrink this whole thing up just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good for that. Take that on. Take those on. I'm going to do those last. And do those last because we want Sweet. Got those two. So it's starting to come together a little bit more. We're getting um, all of our mounts and stuff like that. Now I imagine that um, I'm gonna have to move like this whole section forward or backwards, and then. And then maybe widen this a little bit, depending on, you know, how many discs are per section and the spacing per section. So what I do is I just make one. I do an array. So let's say it's like 50 discs or like 30 discs or something like that to get to the 50 foot mark. And then you can count how many are in each section and you can kind of proportion this a little bit. But right now I think it's kind of uh, pretty close. Um... Obviously, disc hanging off the, the edge here. So. <clears throat> now, this, if. No, I might as well do this while we're here. I know I'm working a little fast. I mean, usually I work a lot faster than this, but it's been such a long time that I kind of. Um, I'm kind of rusty right now, actually, so. If you guys are kind of lost or um, whatever, whatever it is, no worries. Pause the video. We won't do something else, you know. So this is pretty similar actually to 
Let's do this one right here. This is kind of Kind of an odd design, really. So we got this thing fully rigged up, have some coffee. Now I'm kind of mixed uh, if I want to put crumblers on the back of this. Um, I think because the 2623 VT um, it's a 40 foot model. This is a 50 foot, so it's not actually the VT as I have it saved as. It's actually just a, like a 50 foot, 26, 23. And uh, as far as I know, they didn't put um, 
any kind of crumblers behind that big of a disc. You know, it's 10 foot bigger. So I figured I could pull. Um, I mean, Rob sent me a uh, John Deere 200 crumbler. It's a 50 foot, so I could pull that behind this, or I could pull my 50 foot gray planes behind this. Um, or I, you know, I, I'm already putting uh, a rear hitch on it. Um, so I'm not really sure. And then another thing is that this were to be, yeah, I don't. I think it would look really cool with the crumblers, but at the same time, I think it would be just as good without. And it would definitely save on the polygon count. Uh, you know, every time you go with big implements like this, although it's you know there's nothing really to it, it's just you know, but it's gonna get really high in the um, uh, triangles once I start adding in all the discs and stuff like that. So I think we'd better just leave it without the crumblers. Really interested to see how this will actually end up looking when I fold it up. That's another thing when you fold these things up, um, you, I always end up rearranging stuff because it doesn't always line up perfectly or it interferes or you might have to widen this out. Because um, this is one, two, three, probably three. And a, a half maybe so this is like six seven feet wide the main frame not actually sure how wide it is in real life um, we shall see so we got most of our mount our brackets done I mean this not quite but Next thing we would have to do is the the uh, wheel up here, and then so we have all of our frame. Does that have anything in the back? No, it doesn't have anything in the back. Um. Next up, we have it's crazy wheel mount thing <laughs> kind of curious what that actually looks like so let's go and look at wheel and hub nope wheel and hub mm -hmm. that's the main Times it has to be somewhere in here, doesn't it? Depth control? Nope. Depth control. Mm -hmm. Turn the wheel on low. Here we go. So, this is rather interesting. This is relatively straightforward. So, what can we do? Um, we got a pin. This we got two pins. Okay, it goes in like this. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make 
Say hello over here. We're gonna grab ourselves some building material. Scooch it up here, extrude it out here, scoot it over here. And we're just gonna go out of town on this thing. We're gonna build it a little piece by piece. We're gonna build um, So, I'm assuming we've got two pins going here. So, that needs to be quite a bit wider than the frame, actually. Um, we'll just kind of rig something up to give us a little bit of a guide. Um, so, that, that, um, this bracket is in the form of a triangle thing so we'll probably bring this here bring it up here I always kind of like to make these uh, Definitely something like like that for starters, just to give us a rough rough guide as to how big this thing is. Um, another thing that we could do is we could delete all of this. We can actually just grab this and pull it back. This is another way to pretty much do what I just did. And um, okay, so bring that in a little bit. Like, I mean, obviously, there's like other stuff going on, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Like, do it. Let me do it like that. It like squares up somehow like that. And then we'll go into this guy. This guy we have this bolt goes right in there. The top and bottom. So this definitely goes something like that.
can. up a little right now. Run this up quick. sure that my angle is is as dramatic This thing back a little bit. Okay, go for that. those pieces and those go into Thank you. 
more. Let me go to the bottom. Another question is this.
Wow, 50 minutes. Uh, I'm getting kind of bored, so we'll probably call it a day on this and just call it uh, part two. And then next time, if we can fill it, finish up this wheel assembly and then start working on uh, the uh, discs part. So, thanks for watching.